Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another week of online school. This week's SLE is Displays Curiosity and a Love of Truth Through the Eyes of Faith. What does that look like in a student? Well, that student asks questions and tackles inquiry problems with vigor, really excited about learning new things and seeing where it goes and um, is honest and supportive with the people around them. Especially with Easter right around the corner, that kind of student starts looking at Easter through the eyes of a little more mature student who is curious about how all of that goes together. We have four birthdays this week. This week, Lily Fox in kindergarten turns six, and Sophia Lemus in second grade turns eight. Henry Pence in first grade turns seven, and Gabriel Rodriguez in pre-K turns five. Congratulations, guys, and happy birthday. I wanted to take a minute to talk to the students about schoolwork. It's a lot of work doing homeschooling, isn't it? Um, we usually spend seven hours every day in the classroom and we've managed to break homeschooling down to somewhere around four or five hours depending on how old you are. It's a lot of work and I know that it's difficult for the teachers to tell how much work you're doing because usually the teachers are standing right there in front of you in the classroom and they can tell if you've got too much work or not enough work, that kind of thing. So we're still working on finding that balance. Um, so let us know how you're doing. Talk to all your teachers because they need to know how long things take. Um, and I'm sorry that it seems like so much homework. Last week's Kid Power Challenge was to do an art project to show love. And we had quite a few families who sent in pictures so that we could share them. And included in this email is a link to that video. So be sure and have a look at it. This week's Kid Power Challenge is to make a station of the cross. If we can all make one station, then send them in to me, then I will put them all together and make a Stations of the Cross video made by you guys, the students. And if you can get those pictures to me by Thursday night or Friday morning, I wanna put that video together and send that out to families so we can do Stations of the Cross together with our stuff by about noon on Good Friday. So, Here's my example. I got out some clay and I made the first station. Jesus is condemned to death. So I took a nice picture of that and I will add a picture of that into this video. Um, I've also collected a few other pictures of student work just to, so you can use as examples. Also attached to this email is this week's newsletter. And at the very end of the newsletter, there's a section called Homebound Highlights. And that is for you guys to share with everybody else, all of our other families, um, all your tips and tricks for staying at home. If you've got some good ideas on how to stay occupied, if parents have great ideas on how to entertain the kids and be able to get your work done, if you have some great inspiring stories that you'd like to share, those can all be gathered up um, in the newsletter every week so that we can stay connected and see what everybody else is doing. 
Uh, so I asked our teachers to get us started. So have a look at the end of the newsletter for some great stories about how our teachers are doing, keeping busy and staying sane during this time of staying at home. I hope your family is doing well. I sure miss seeing your faces every day. I hope everything is going well and that your family is safe and that they're happy. And most of all, I wish you all a great Holy Week. We have the Triduum coming up. So please remember that Holy Thursday and Good Friday and Holy Saturday are all very important to us. Take some time to do some thinking and walk yourself through a process that we usually do in church so that it's still there because it's still meaningful. I miss you all and your teachers miss you all and I hope you're doing well. Take care and have a good week.